Welcome into Sports Showcase. I'm JP Finley here in Cleveland as the Commanders won their preseason opener 17 to 15 against the Browns. What made the preseason win even more remarkable? How about this? Josh Harris, the new owner of the Commanders, sat in the stands in the rain and cheered on his team. After the game, I asked Harris, what was that moment like? First of all, it's the city's team. It's not my team, but it was amazing. It was. So, I'm so happy to be here and uh, be part of it. And uh, we, a win's a win, preseason or not. Everyone's healthy, and uh, let's go. How cool was it? You had your son with you. Oh man, it's you know, family is everything to me, and uh, having him there and being able to like experience the moment with him is amazing. And uh, we, we got the ball. I was lucky enough that Coach Rivera gave me the ball. It's my first uh, game as an owner, so I'll, I'll put that under glass, and uh, and it's a good omen for where we're heading. What, what was the decision to sit out in the stands in the rain? I just like watching the game and being with the fans and feeling the action and being near the players. And so uh, that for me was uh, a better place for me. That's where I wanted to be. So uh, I, it was hard. There was a few uh, well wishers, so it was hard to watch the game. That was the only issue. But uh, I was so happy to be part of the activity and part of the fans and with the fans. Seeing people with... Uh, Commander's gear on in the stands from all over the place really uh, warms my heart. Now back on the field, for the Commanders, the most important development this summer is about Sam Howell, the second year quarterback they hope can become a true franchise cornerstone. Howell played well, even if he didn't get a heck of a lot of time from the offensive line. And after the game, he said things are starting to click. Definitely did some good things out there and definitely there's some things to clean up. Um, and that's kind of what we expect. You know, obviously I would like the first two drives we had with the ones to be a little cleaner, but you know, I'm proud of the way we responded. And two plays in a row that I really think kind of showcase who you are as a quarterback, the fourth down conversion to Turner and then the touchdown throw to Dotson. Can you can you just take us through those? Yeah, the fourth down, um, kind of the, the concept we call it. I thought the defense did a good job of covering it, so I knew it was fourth down, so I just tried to make something happen. Um, and Cole did a good job on the, on the scramble drill of getting open, um, and that's something we practice a lot. And then the touchdown man, Jahan, Jahan had, ran a great route. Um, he's such a good route runner. It's so much fun to play with him, and he makes my job easy. So that was two good plays for us. How to go with your first time with Eric Bieniemy in a game? Communication? Yeah, it was awesome. Um, obviously, it, we it's our first time doing it. Um, so obviously, it was going to be diff different for all of us. But I thought we did a great job. You know, I thought he did a good job communicating with us, and we didn't have any screw ups from a communication standpoint. So I'm really proud of how it was. You got the start late last year in a regular season game, so it wasn't like this is your first chance. But did it feel different knowing the opportunity in front of you this season? Yeah, I mean, for sure. I mean, it's my first time going out there in this offense and in this system. Um, so I just wanted to go out there and just try to, you know, take command of this offense and show that you know, I can make good decisions um, and just and just get keep the ball moving. Um, and so I think we did, we did a solid job tonight. Um, obviously, some things we can grow on for sure.